So we're just going to get right into it. This is the Dutch oven. Really, really nice. Turn it down a little bit today. Wow, that is beautiful. It's heavy. I did not own a Dutch oven, so I wanted to do this unboxing with you guys. I bought this off of Amazon. I think I paid $89 for it. I wanted to get the powder blue one because it's nice. It doesn't match with anything in my kitchen, actually, but it is beautiful. And there was a lot of great reviews on this particular one. Of course, there was the one that was way expensive. I did not want to get. So, this is a mitten, I guess. And these are I know to put on this for me to pick it up out of the oven. So I'm going to get right into making the no need bread. And I went to, her name is Jenny Can Cook. That's where I get the recipe from. And I'm just going to follow her recipe all the way and make my first um, round bread loaf in the Dutch oven. Wow, that's great. Thank you for being with me for this moment. Hey, well here I am making this bread. Just wanted to invite you guys along with me for the ride. This is the no knead bread. Um, I use one fourth teaspoon of active yeast, one teaspoon of salt, and I was told to stir, get it all mixed up. And then just pour the hot water in, cover it with film, and let it sit for three hours. We're going to see if this works. And I'm going to show you guys my beautiful pot, cast iron Dutch oven. So I'm just going to pour this, she said, put one and a half cup of hot water in and stir it. And get it all mixed in really well. And then I'm going to cover it and let it sit for three hours. And right now it is 12:49, so we'll just say it starts to activate at one o'clock. So I'm actually watching the video as I do this because I'm not a bread baker, but I'm really happy to learn and try new things. Excuse all the flotsams and jetsons that you see on my countertop. I wanted to sit down and do the video with you guys. How is everybody today? Just getting it all incorporated together. I'm not used to sitting down in the kitchen. And, but that's the way it is for now. I'm going to show you guys my pot. So I'm going to continue to watch and then I will be back in just a moment. So now I'm just gonna cover it up with the plastic. That was really easy. Just gonna cover it nice and tight. And see what it do. She said for three hours. So I hope it rises. there you have it and then I'll be back so here's the bread I don't see a lot of bubbles but well I guess I do see a lot of bubbles um, so now I'm going to put some flour on my counter well floured surface is what I was told This is my little scraper I'm going to use. So I'm going to just, she said it's supposed to be sticky and it is. Yep, put it against me so that I could 
show you guys. And then I'm going to fold it over a couple of times on the counter. And she said, put, put a little bit of flour on top of it. Not too much. And then kind of, she used a scraper so she wouldn't get more on her hand. So about Ten or twelve times it says so let's just consider that one you know I don't know how many times I did it if you count it that's thank you but you do it like that then after I do that I'm gonna place it I think that's perfect actually if I say so myself just one in a ball I hope that's enough so now I'm gonna Close this up. I'm going to put parchment paper in a bowl with instructions. Whatever, I'm going to place it in there. I'm going to do this a couple more times. Now her ball was much prettier than my ball, but it's a ball. So now I'm going to put it into the bowl. That's what it says, it says, um, place it in parchment paper, line fill bowl, not wax, and cover with a towel for 35 minutes. So I'm going to place it, you already see it in the bowl. And I'm going to place it for 35 minutes. Meanwhile, turn the oven on 450 and put the Dutch oven in the oven to get it ready. So I'll be back in just a moment. So now I'm going to put the cold pot into the oven for until it heats up to 450. And this will sit out for 35 minutes. So I'm going to see you when I come back. Okay, so I just took this hot oven out of the oven. And now I'm going to, I've never used one of these before, so this is really interesting. So now I'm going to take the bread and put it, I think I can do it this way. Place it down. In there, I <laughs> just don't want to touch that, it's so hot. And then, put <clears throat> it like that, put the top back on it, and I'm going to place it in the oven for 30, did you say 30 minutes? After 30 minutes, remove the lid and parchment paper, return uncovered. So, there we have it. I'm going to put it back in the oven. So I have cooked it for 30 minutes. Now the instructions say, I hope I cooked it for 30 minutes because what happened was I didn't set the timer, but it says remove the parchment paper and the lid. So what I'm going to do There you go, mama. Take it off like that. Now I'm gonna, it says, after 30 minutes, remove lid and parchment paper. Return uncovered to the oven and bake 10 to 15 more minutes. Let it cool. So when I return, that will be the end. Be back short. If I could just say so myself, look like I did it, y'all, and I'm so proud of myself. Look at that bread. I'm telling you, it is, it looks like the picture. I'm just going to hold it up so you guys can see it clearly with your eyes, with your two eyes. It looks like it's going to be crispy and just all fluffy. I'm telling you, got to let it sit for 15 minutes. But I want to show you the picture. You see that picture right there? Look at that bread. Look at that picture. Come on now. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> 
I did it and I'm so proud of myself. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me, watching. You know what? What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to let it cool for 15 minutes and I'm going to come back and crack it. Let's just see if I really did it. This is just the outside. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. So I'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, I'm excited that this bread looks really good. Cracks and all. And let's listen for the crunch. Oh my goodness. It's so hot right now. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Get a little closer. Get a little closer.